Hello and welcome. My name is Soham Prasad. I'm 14 years old and today I will be presenting to you the show Startup Central. The show dedicated to startups and entrepreneurship. Dude, what's going on? This is supposed to be my show. Who's he? Who's this kid? What's going on? Who are you? Oh, please lady. It's my time now. Inka time aa gaya. It is Children's Day and today we at ET now are celebrating that and on Startup Central Catch Him Young. We're getting you the super achievers, the super kids who I have no idea are finding the time to not just be entrepreneurs but also be A+ students. He's all of 14 years old and he's got a business which does what? It makes virgin mojitos for teenage parties in Gurgaon. and we started about 6 months ago and what is special about our company is there are minimum preservatives and completely real flavors so we bottle up the fizzy delight of fruit flavored virgin mojitos and we deliver right to your doorstep how does it work like someone tells you a day in advance that i'm having a party yes. so you can contact us on our website 5 to 4 days prior to the party and we will take your order and on the day of the party in the morning we uh, make all the required drinks and then deliver it right to your doorstep so i'm guessing this can only be on weekdays because what if you have school well don't worry i have a support system at home so it's all taken care what's of what's the maximum the biggest order you've ever gotten well there was my friend's party and she loves drinks so she ordered about these are non alcoholic drinks by the way don't worry <laughs> so she ordered 50 drinks and it was a lot of work my my entire family was in the kitchen helping me moving dishes and all so in the end we had to carry a big carton of gohitos and it was finished within 15 minutes so incidentally this is his bottle and as you can see he's also got very cool branding uh, Who designed it for you? Some credit goes to my brother. Huh. He will want me to say that. So he designed the logo okay. over here on our website, and we started printing it and stuck it to the bottle. So just like that, we we created a brand image. And tell me something. How much do you charge? We charge fifty rupees for uh, this size bottle, and uh, uh, this is uh, much lower than our competitors, which include Brewhouse Ice Tea. They're selling for hundred. Brewhouse, you're competing with. Yes. So huh. They charge hundred rupees, which is theft, really. So, <laughs> okay, I said that overcharging is what you're trying to yeah, get. Yeah, so I I feel that we provide the best deal in you know all all round, best price, flavors, health wise. It's the fusion of great taste of exotic flavors and calorie conscious consumption. Does it have sugar? It does have sugar, but in minimal amounts. We only put three ounces, thirty grams of Sprite. as opposed to other uh, mojitos which put more like 7 ounces of sprite so in that sense it's much more calorie conscious and our, all the other ingredients are not processed not a single ounce of chemical in the other ingredients so you also said that your competitors what they're charging is highway robbery and yeah. that is exactly what you were trying to get at right yeah. but tell me something so how did you come up with this idea So at the parties I used to go I couldn't find you know the right drink which would combine the taste price and exotic flavors without having a bartender I mean have you ever heard of having a virgin mojito without a bartender especially in a bottle So that that got me thinking what if we could put a virgin mojito in a bottle while taking care of health needs of our consumers So I started you know scavenging around my kitchen much to the chagrin of my health and uh, slowly i discovered a formula that would work for all these requirements so you told me that you charge 50 bucks yeah. for this do you know how much the ingredients cost are you aware sure. of that or you just tell no. your mom that i need to buy all of this and you're no. not bothered that how much it costs and whether she is losing money no no it uh, the cost of uh, ingredients is 24 rupees so we make more than so you may 26 rupees per bottle yeah so which is more than 50% so i'm pretty happy with it no but you haven't included transportation We've included everything: transportation, labor costs, ingredients, bottling. So all told, it comes to twenty-four. So you know, by the way, I asked Soham whether he would make me a mean mojito, a virgin mojito, and I'm going to tell you what it tastes like. But uh, he's got all his ingredients uh, lined up. So are you going to make it for all sure. of us now, Soham? So first, I'm going to add my secret mix to this. This is the base, and it forms like the. One second, you're not going to tell us what goes in it. I'll have to kill you if I told you. But... <laughs> So this goes in first. So is that big a secret, huh? It's been crafted. It's sugar and water. <laughs> so then we're gonna add um, a bit of our strawberry flavoring. This is. Oh, you have different flavors. Yeah. So I this, only know one kind of mojito. This is a strawberry mojito. That's why I told you novel fruit flavored mojitos. Where we we're like pioneering different kinds of flavors, which 
will add some much needed variety. So this has no preservative, this strawberry? It's fresh strawberry right out of the market. So it, you have no worries of any kind So what of do you do in the summer months? In the summer, we have actually seasonal flavors. So the, right now, since strawberry is in season, we use it. We have other flavors including coconut, we have orange, we have apple. Oh nice. So it goes season by season, one season at a time. So we're going to mix the strawberry flavoring. That's it, that's all the little strawberry you need. Yes, it's all. And uh, mint, of course, you can't have mojito without mint. Mm, yeah. So we take, and, and you can all see it's right in front of you. It's like the subway of mojitos. Subway of mojitos. Are you sure you don't want to get into advertising? <laughs> <laughs> I'll think about it. <laughs> I'll just mix this up. I hope that's enough. And uh, now I think we need just need to add a lemon rind and we'll be done. And there you go, that's the lemon. So, and here we have a ready gojito. So now he's made the strawberry mojito, which I told you doesn't even need that extra kick. I know you does know what I'm talking about. And now you're going to make a masala gojito. So that has chaat masala. Yeah, it has actually three, it has salt, it has chaat masala and it has kala namak. Ooh, sounds yum. Mm, it's quite the kick. Yeah, I'm quite a chatpata person, not just by personality, but I like a... This one's for you By then. chaat too. Let's so see how it's done. The base as always. The secret recipe for which you'll have to kill me. If he tells me what it is. But that's pretty smart. Did everyone tell you? Did anybody tell you not not share it? Yeah, because it's a tough market out there and you can't <laughs> you can't risk losing it, you know? My lawyers are so busy these days. So this is the the one you like, right? So Yeah. So you make this at home, this uh, mixture or, yeah. or just from the market? Yeah, I make the mixture at home but the separate components are from the market of course. So we're just gonna mix it. And it's ready. This is masala gohito. So, so we have the strawberry gohito and the masala gohito. So now you're going to make us a orange, orange gohito. gohito. Yes. Yes, shall we see? The secret base. Then we have mint leaves. Have you tested this and one? Finally, yes, we've tested uh, all of these except masala, which we now have. So this is your freshly squeezed orange? Yes. It's freshly squeezed orange juice. Now we we'll mix it. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. all very subtle. There you have it. So I try to uh, increase the shelf life, make it like a product you find in supermarkets. But then I realized to make the shelf life very longer, it requires a great amount of funds and scale. And right now, as a student, I don't just I just don't have that kind of money. So I shifted to a short shelf life drink that can be instantly made and instantly consumed. And that works perfectly for parties. If you make it the day on the party and deliver it the day on the party in ice boxes. So then all the people at the party can enjoy it and put it back in the ice box. And we also have a recycling policy for, uh, you know, environment friendly. Uh, yeah, I, I like the fact that you don't use plastic bottles. Yeah, additionally, we can actually, the people who consume this actually can return these plastic bottles and reap some benefits. Like if you, Return five plastic bottles, you get a free gohito. Ah, that's like so, great. And do the people return it? Whatever yes, we have. Yeah. Though. Yeah. So, what's your clientele? Is it usually your classmates? No. Yeah. It is initially it's my friends and because they are friends and family members. So that's where your initial business comes. And once you go to those parties, it reaches more and more people. So word of mouth, as we call it. Yeah. So you start accumulating uh, business. And additionally, I live on a campus where there's this cafeteria. So I have an MOU with him to send uh, the canteen wala. Yeah, canteen wala to send ten bottles to him every day to be sold over Does there. Does he sell all ten every day? He is, it hasn't started. I have an MOU. I'm starting next couple of weeks. You know what a full form of an MOU is? Mem Memorandum of understanding. understanding. How so much money have you made so far? Um, I bet you know the exact change. Also. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So the first party we made two thousand rupees. I've done profit. Six. No, we made total profit was one thousand. I've done five parties till now, so total profit has been less, a little less than ten thousand rupees. And what I have you done with that money? I've kept it. My parents have unfortunately kept it for college, so I can't. <laughs> Am I allowed to spend it? No. Are you allowed to invest it back into the business? I could. I I should do actually do that. That way it will grow. I'll get. But YEA has also given us some money to start, so I've got fifty thousand from them, and I'm going to I'm planning to do a big launch with that money in you know, marketing. 
setting the website. So when you went to your parents and you told them you want to do this, what did they say? My parents were very excited about the idea. They were always open to exposing me to new frontiers. And entrepreneurship is very relevant in, in today's time. So they jumped at the idea and uh, although they supported me, most of the work came from my side because it, it is eventually my idea. Hmm. So th they helped with the logistics. And uh, do you know what you want to be when you grow up? If this You know takes, you're not grown up, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, first of all, hopefully rich. <laughs> and second of all, I want to st start Guhito. So maybe if it works out, maybe I can take it further in, in the future and start, you know, going internationally and in internationally. Well, uh, first one step at a time, nationally. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and as we expand, I hope to increase the shelf life so you can find it in supermarkets and markets like that. Hmm. So that it's not only limited to parties. Hmm. So going into the future, these are my plans. So what newspapers do you read every day? Times of in India and Economic Times. These are my. These are. Do the, you understand everything? You know what's going on in Economic Times. Most of it, I'm there for the pictures. Most of the time. <laughs> no, but, no, but seriously, I do. I don't understand all of it, but it really. I do understand bits of it, and that's enough to keep me posted on what's going on. No sports. Sports, of course. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm. I'm a big tennis fan, so hmm. I've been following the tournaments that are going. Who do you like? Federer, of course, Federer. I have a photograph with Roger Federer. Yeah, I, I, I instantly... Call me an old lady, huh? I have got sweat <laughs> in your face, huh? I will, yeah, mm. so I keep my hobbies as do well as... Do you play tennis? I do play tennis. I play tennis with my brother every day. Mm. And my father joins me occasionally. And with that, Soma, I'd like to thank you for coming all the way to our studios. My and pleasure. thank you for this interview. And here's wishing you all the very best. Yes, party on the go. Gohito. <laughs>